That's a it lot is. for them, but yeah. dealing with our own threat for severe weather. Yeah. Thankfully, not a lot of damage tonight, but it seems like we're still bracing for possibly more. The window, though, is closing okay. fast. That's the good news. There's still some intense thunderstorms just west of us, but I think as they get closer to Chicago, they're going to run into a wall of a little bit more stable air now that the sun has been down for several hours. So that severe weather threat looks to end across our area just after midnight. I wanted to start with a wide perspective. Look how big the storm system is spinning over Iowa and Minnesota, responsible for multiple tornadoes in places like Nebraska and Iowa earlier today. And these little spokes of energy, you see them there moving through. The first one came in this afternoon with just some showers, and we had a couple of downpours earlier this evening. Let's start off with this activity just out here towards the uh, northwestern suburbs, northern areas of DeKalb County, Boone County, and McHenry County, non-severe, but some downpours, thunder and lightning, some wind gusts coming in with them as well. The only kind of heavy area that I want to keep an eye on is just out here towards the west of Mendota. This is LaSalle County. This is outside of our viewing area just south of I-88 and this thunderstorm producing some hail under severe weather limits, but it's tracking off towards the northeast. So if you're in DeKalb County, including the community of DeKalb, let's keep an eye on that one over the next 45 minutes. In good shape here in Chicago, we've had these little downpours, thunder and lightning, a little bit of action still in the northwestern suburbs, but this action is moving up towards the north and northeast and is uh, not bringing anything really that heavy or even strong in terms of wind. Temperatures right now, we are looking at lake influence in Waukegan at 55, but rain cooled 58 in McHenry versus 70 right now at Midway, which is incredibly warm for this date. The average low for this time of the year right at 40 degrees, so we're well above that, and we'll only settle into the 60s here for tonight. So the hour by hour forecast, those thunderstorms that are just out here towards the west, moving into the western suburbs around midnight, still some lingering showers and thunderstorms at 1 a.m., a chance for some gusty winds, a chance for maybe some small hail, but I think the tornado threat after midnight area wide is really going to be small and then by 2 a.m. The bulk of rain is out of here and we'll sleep easy for the rest of the night. Tomorrow morning at sunrise, we're dry. There is a small chance of a few gusty thunderstorms between 8 and 11 a.m. Tomorrow, mainly in northwest Indiana. And once that passes, it's just a windy day. High temperatures cooler compared to today in the 60s and we'll look for winds to howl out of the west, gusting at times as high as 40 miles per hour. So the forecast looks like this 67 degrees for your Wednesday. The best chance of a shower storm, mainly south and east of Chicago in the morning. Thursday 62, but with a northeast wind, it will be a lake influence. Notice temperatures in the 50s lakeside. And then on Friday, cooler. We get a front on Thursday, so we'll drop the temperatures in the 50s behind that front on Friday and stay in the 50s for highs for this upcoming weekend. It's a cool Saturday, especially near the lake. Look for temperatures to be in the low 50s, but with more sunshine, we'll rebound back in the upper 50s on Sunday, back in the 60s as we head towards Monday and Tuesday of next week. So we'll keep an eye on the Doppler radar remainder of the night. The good news is no active watches, warnings, or advisories, and hopefully it'll stay that way, and all trends are indicating it will, so that's the good news. Okay, good. Thank you, Albert. Okay.